Check it here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going over Mega Crab stages 60 to 64. I know I said it's a Boom Beach video, but it's really just a Mega Crab video, guys. So let's dive on into it. So I was at work today. So these are all hashtag toilet hits. And some of them for, were fantastic, others not so much. Um, again, I missed uh, getting some of the hits on um, on video just because I, I wanted to keep progressing on the crab and I couldn't uh, couldn't make videos of all of them, unfortunately. But uh, that's how we finished out stage 60. My first hit on stage 60, I went up this way with Scorchers and Tanks and I cleared all the shield gens and I played it safe. I'm playing it safe and going for the two, uh, the two hits more so than the anything else. You see right here, we're still holding out as number one in Canada. Now, um, while the chicken wasn't work, I did miss a few attacks, so that's probably going to cost us in the uh, in the leaderboard run, but that's okay. So, uh, then we had 61. Let's see what we got here for 61. So, 61 was uh, not too terrible of a stage. I could definitely see this one being a solo. We were actually pretty close to it now that I remember, but uh, we basically used Scorchers and Tanks to just kind of farm up a bunch of stuff here. Um, I let those boom cannons go without getting shocked for too long i think if i was gonna if, if i were to do this again using scorchers and tanks i would um i would only shock the boom cans and the shock launchers and i wouldn't use gunboat energy for anything else i brought in a couple super warriors and a couple boxes of critters here and there but it didn't really seem to do much um it, it didn't really seem to help us very much so um yeah so basically i cleared out the shields on this side i tried to smoke over to the other side and get the other shields but i think that was wishful thinking because at this point, um, you see I had bullet ahead of us, but the rock launchers were still targeting the tanks. Um, because they're stupid. And uh, I don't like when that happens, when I have bullet way in front of everybody. But the rockets decide to target what they want to target anyways. But either way, we basically got the shield down to the point where we can just use a couple artillery on it. So we basically cleared all the shields in that hit. And let's show you how we destroyed 61 in uh, in this uh, replay here. So see what I did right there? I just cleared out all those uh, power cells or whatever they're called. Um, the mutagen vats, the green goo. Um, and I, I just did that and I was able to um, get some more GB. So you'll see the rush right here. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. I mean, since I have so much troop health and it's always boosted, uh, I can get away with letting machine guns and rock launchers shoot a bit of bazookas and it's not the end of the world like it would be uh, typically in an operation or anything like that. So moving on along to stage 62 now for this one i opened it up with rifle crowd zuka medic and i went with uh, four boats of riflemen and two boats of zukas and then the rest of medics so the problem on this stage is these flotsam cannons right by the shields there's no good way to deal with them there really isn't uh and if there is i was unaware of it so my goal my plan was to uh, to explode them either flare back or uh, just take them out with gunboat energy, but it was way they were way too healthy. They're like 65k each uh, Which was way too expensive to just throw a barrage and artillery on so That's how we went about doing the first attack. That was definitely not a good attack by any stretch of the imagination But um, we got done what I think we needed to we got most of the flot sams down to very low health and we took a couple um, We took a couple hit points off those shields So I was able to use gunboat energy there on that flot sam. You see the flot sam actually explodes there and takes out the rock launcher for us as well um, so this attack, I remember being very, very close, but let's see how accurate that actually is here. So I get the super warriors up. I get the critters up. I don't want to waste, um, I don't want to waste any, uh, troops being lost to doom cannons, boom cannons, things like that. When I can just use critters to go in front of my, uh, my main troop composition. So, uh, right here, we kind of got hit with these doom cannons a little bit too much. You see when the doom cannons hit the riflemen, now that they do splash damage ever since that, well now that they do, it's not like it's a new thing, but since they do splash damage, they take out tons and tons of riflemen. And I let the lasers um, clip us a couple times, that definitely cost us. I got a little greedy here and flared onto the core, it was either that or it just take out a couple more defenses, so. Uh, yeah, stage 62 definitely cost us a couple hits, but uh, but that's fine. Um, so then we just went up, we finished out with the uh, Rife Krasuk Medic, you see right here, I'm just going to barrage out some of the mines, and then it's just going to be a shock party, and, uh, I'm basically just keeping the lasers down, the flamethrowers down, and then we flare under the core nice and early, and we're able to finish off that without, um, uh, without a cluck, without a buck, and without a duck. Thank you very much, guys. So, there's 62. 63, another tough one. This is another one of those, uh, same layouts. I don't have a word for what I call this, 
pattern. I guess the octagon, the the octagonal uh, crab layout or something like that, the stop sign. I don't know. But I tried to open it up with the right browser medic. Uh, I knew my scorchers and tanks were not going to get very far at all. I didn't see a good area to smoke heavies and zookas or all zookas even. So I, uh, I, I, I passed on that and. We just kind of opened up the we opened up the front of it here enough in hopes of getting um, in hopes of getting all the shields down, but we were able to get one down, so that's not nothing. But um, yeah, so then the next attack, we we had a lot of the base left to chew off here. So my plan was to get uh, the shields all gone, and then to just farm my way up the right hand side. I knew I doing this, I wasn't gonna have much of a chance of finishing it in two hits, but. Um, as long as it's not 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hits, it's not one of those stages, then I'm okay with that. So I took out the shields, I flared them back, I saved the cryo bomb for when the Doom Cannon was going to come into range. Um, now you see right there, I lost that Scorcher purely to that Doom Cannon, so uh, that was definitely a mistake. Looking back on it now, it's always easy to see where the mistakes are once you look at the attack as opposed to actually doing them. But um, yeah, some of these were rushed too because I was at work, so I had to kind of do other things, so I was trying to do them very quickly. Um, but yeah, we got up to, uh, we got up to about here, and I, I thought I was gonna have a chance at this. Bullet went down there, unfortunately, so that was the end of that, basically. Um, we had a couple tanks left shooting at, uh, some lasers and shock launch and stuff, but, uh, we were able to finish it out. We used, uh, I used Scorchers, I could've used anything here, it didn't matter, um, at all. I just used Scorchers and tanks probably because I already had them loaded up. Uh, took out that one laser there, all we have to do is shock the shock launcher and those Doom Cannons, and... Away we go. That was uh, that was it. I actually lost a scorcher on that one just with the doom cannons plowing away at them. I lost all the scorchers actually, which was kind of interesting. But uh, boom, there was stage 63. Now let's take a look at stage 64 before we get into some live hits here. So stage 64. These used to be these were very easy solos. Uh, this stage layout when we had the speed serum. I'm finding the biggest problem with this base is uh, the time. So. I, could op I opened it up very well last time with Scorchers and Tanks. This one had a little bit more cannons, so I went with the Rifecraft Zook Medic. But I got less work done because I had to continually keep that laser down. And there was just too many laser beams that just kept uh, poking away at us. So that was uh, that was the issue on 63. Or sorry, 64. So we haven't finished out 64 just yet, I guess. We got an attack here. We might as well do it now. Um, so this laser is not in range, correct? Okay, so we can just go right up at the top here, probably with Rifle Crowd Zook Medic. Um, mm, that's actually going to be tricky because there's so much shield, that's a 15 million health shield. Uh, so that is going to be tricky. So what we're going to do, here's what we're going to do. Do I still boost going? No? Okay. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to take out all the shield gens. Uh, so we're going to have to smoke our Rifle Crowd Zook Medic up around the side. I keep saying I keep saying the word cryo, even though there's no cryoneers in the strategy we're using. Um, but I mean, it's the same basic idea. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go with three bolts of Zookas, two medics, and three riflemen. I think that is going to net us um, in a pretty good spot here. So let's go ahead and try that, guys. So um, yeah, basically, what do we want to do here? I want to make sure. I am going to have to throw a barrage right up there. I want to see how much damage that does to that rocket, because it would be nice to not have to shock it, but if it's going to take a million GB to take it down, then maybe we're better off just leaving it and uh, flaring straight to the back, which I think is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to go up like this. Now, I'm going to have to start smoking pretty early, because that laser does actually reach across the uh, across the pond there. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to smoke right about there, and then we're going to flare right over here, uh, just like that. Um, okay, so we're going to go like this and like this. Now I want uh, those critters to run out. Uh, we're going to go like that and like this. And that's good that we got pelted once there with the... Um, so the medic medics do come along for the ride. So we'll go like this. Uh, I may need another smoke right about there. Okay, it didn't go for some reason. That's fine. So we can go like this with a nice shock. Nice and early. Um, that's just shooting critters and stuff, so that's okay. Uh, and then let's get another shock right about here. We'll go with Super Warrior in front and some more critters like that. Now, I did lose some Zookas, but that's why I, I brought three bolts of them. Okay, so we'll get another shock going right there. Um, now, I gotta make sure that we're taking out all the defenses here. So let's flare onto this uh, Doom Cannon and make sure that we're taking down all these defenses. I'm gonna throw a medkit right there for that machine gun. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flare back. Uh, we're going to take out the rest of those shield gems. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's get a smoke down. And from here, we should be fine to use barrage on this uh, rocket launcher. Now, the problem is we only got two minutes to do this, right? So we got to be fairly quick as we're going here. Um, so let's go like that and let's go one, two, three. Three artilleries, is that going to be enough? One, two, three. We're going to need one more. That's fine. Then we can go one on this uh, boom cannon over here. Take that down. That's going to let us 8 GB back. And I can go like this. I want to clear some of these mines and I'm also going to get some of these crystal solution jars uh, as well, which is going to be a big help uh, coming up this way. So the only thing I really have to shock here is going to be that laser and possibly these flamethrowers. Um, okay, it's not going to be worth it to take down that flamethrower. So let's go ahead and start the shocking here on this laser. A little bit late, but that's fine. And we actually got super lucky there. Um, okay, so 61 GB. I am not going to shock the flamethrowers. I'm making the executive decision right there. We're going to try to out medkit them. And now let's just flare onto the core, and that is going to be that, guys. So we got this base uh, dead to rights. Boom. Stage 64 goes down. Back, back, back. A little bit early on the backs, but that's all right. So stage 65, let's take a little sneak preview of it. And I'm probably going to wait to hit it. I want to let my attacks load up so I have uh, 6 out of 6. Um, so yeah, let's take a quick hashtag check and scout. And okay, we haven't seen this layout in a while. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys do typically for that layout. You'll see the chicken still holding out number 1 um, in Canada for the time being. Uh, like I said, we did miss some, uh, some attacks at work. So I, I was sitting at 6 out of 6 for quite a while there. So... Um, yeah, it's probably going to cost in the long run, but should be good to go otherwise. Guys, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Bye, bye, bye.